The product rule enables us to take two variables that we'd like to take the derivative of and compute the derivative of those two variables separately. So if we have two variables, w and z, the product rule states that we can split that up into two terms. In one of the terms, we take w and we multiply that by the derivative of z with respect to x. In the other term, we simply do the opposite. We take plain old z and multiply it by dw dx. The product rule is useful in situations where we have calculations that involve several different rules. Sometimes it enables us to simplify the rules that we're applying, make things more manageable. And it's also useful whenever the product is incalculable pre-differentiation. Let's look at some numbers now to bring the idea of the product rule to life to make it really tangible. So let's say that y is a function of this product here. So we can split this up into two separate variables. So 6x cubed, let's call that w. And then the second part of the product here, 7x to the power of 4, we'll call that z. Now we can calculate the derivative of w and z separately, and it's a piece of cake. So we can use the power rule, which we learned earlier. So dw dx is 18x squared, according to the power rule, as well as the constant multiple rule. So x to the power of 3 becomes x to the power of 2. We bring the 3 in front, multiply that by the 6, and that gives us 18. 7x to the power of 4 is a similar story. We use the power rule and the constant multiple rule. So x to the power of 4 becomes x to the power of 3. We bring the 4 in front. 7 times 4 is 28. All right, so now we have w, z, dw, dx, and dz, dx. It's everything we need to complete the product rule, to calculate it. So let's do it. So if we were to take this original equation here, we can now calculate dy, dx as a function of the derivative of w and z, which we know from the product rule is composed of these two terms here. So we simply plug in the values. W is 6x cubed, dz dx is 28x cubed, and then the second term here, z, 7x4, and dw dx is 18x squared. You can then multiply these out, so 6x cubed times 28x cubed, x cubed plus x cubed is x to the power of 6, because we add exponents when we multiply them by each other, and... So that becomes x to the power of 6, and then 6 times 28 is 168. Same thing over here, x to the power of 4 times x to the power of 2 is equal to x to the power of 4 plus 2, same as x cubed times x cubed is equal to x to the power of 3 plus 3. So again, we end up with x to the power of 6 here, and 7 times 18 is 126. Conveniently, this is remarkably lucky. We have x to the power of 6 in both terms, so we can simply add them up to get the final answer at the bottom. Nice. Up next is a rule that's closely related to the product rule. It's called the quotient rule.